in a world without science, where would we be? Okay, science fair. Science fair. Science fair. Our experiment was fun to do, and we got to spend a lot of time together. We were happy about how the teamwork and actually how we created the biodiesel. This project was a lot of fun, but it took a lot of hard work. <coughs> we were at each other's throats. Yeah. And there was, it was just, pick a partner you like. We hate each other. No. No, no, no. We love each other. If I have any tips for those going into science fair, pick something that you love and pick something that you're willing to do for a long time. Yeah. Because you'll be doing it for a while. Long time. I, this really wasn't originally what I was supposed to be doing for science fair. We started working yeah. together a month before science fair and we really, we pulled it together. My project fell month. through, or fell through, we just kind of picked it up. So. And this is what we pulled together. <laughs> You want to pick your topic based on what you like to do, <laughs> what you're interested in. The beginning of the project was hard to figure out what you were going to do, but once you started figuring out what you were going to do and you started working with it, it was a lot easier and it flowed a lot smoother. When you're writing your paper, your background research is the biggest point of your paper. So start with that and keep working on it until the end prep. Through the entire process, don't just wait till the last minute to write out your papers. It's not good. When you're doing your research paper, make sure you have all the papers with you, all the information, and all that kind of jazz. That's very important. That's a big part of your grade. Coming back to turning everything in on time, we turned in our paper the first the first chance we got and we ended up getting a really good grade on it. So if you just keep turning it in on time and getting revisions, you'll get a good grade. She'll edit it. So make sure you know everything about your topic before you try to do anything with it. Because it will just end badly. Well, spending hours after school is hard but doing doing counts. Count hours of work. Um, our research was difficult, but yeah, there was many sources we were, could look at and figure out how other people around the world have been using this for certain problems and certain effects. I wish that I had uh, done a little bit more background research in advance because I didn't do the timeline before my before I started all my research, I did it afterwards so I could have some background research. So I wish I would have done that because it would help me understand a little bit more about radiation. And make sure when you have all your stuff to keep it all together so you don't lose any of it. And when Ms. Harpin orders your things, make sure she orders the right, not the wrong. Judge, make sure you. Uh... You can't be nervous, can't let them see that you're nervous. You have to speak up. You have to tell them everything you know. Talk to them, not around them, but look yeah. in their eyes. Make sure you give them a firm handshake when you are when you first meet them. Yeah, the judges are actually pretty nice. I mean, make sure you know why it's useful, like why is it important in our day and age. Yeah. And my advice to future students is to just work hard and don't give up. If you have questions, ask. If you're doubting yourself when you're doing your presentation, don't. Even if you're not confident and don't know what you're talking about, at least make them think you do. With, this, with judges, I could say it's just hard to pass. Seriously, it is hard. It is. Uh... It sucks because you're so crunched for time and then the week of the science fair, you're really stressed and you're rushing to get last minute things done. But I think at the very end, when you figure out your score, it, um, 
makes you feel better about yourself because I didn't think I would do that good and I was half a point away from the districts, which is all right. That's it, and good luck with your experiments. Good luck on the project. Adios. Future students of Mrs. Harbin's class, good luck. And uh, what is it? Godspeed. Good riddance. Stay strong. Good luck. Oh, just have fun. Alrighty. It's been nice chatting with you. See you later. It's really fun. And you should do it. Science rules. <laughs>